Pingris, point blank miss. In the hands of Gabe Freeman, he's outnumbered down there. Three minutes and 52 still remaining in the first quarter. Pingris out to Aliado. Aliado clear for the jumper. The guys like Don Aliado, Pingris, Roger Yap, they have to get their points because San Miguel is really keying up on their two main men, on the two main men of the Llamados. Watch them scoreless. James Yap has nothing from the field, only from the free throw line. Cabagna trying to find a way in. Hontiveros for three. Can't leave a guy like that alone from beyond the arc. That's his ninth point of the ball game. You know, Don one of those guys that has that thinking. If, if you are a scorer on one end, it's about plus minus. If I play better than you, our, my team will have a better chance of winning. So far, he's got nine points compared to James Yap's two. And his team up by seven. Difficult jumper by Roger Yap, but Washington is there to clean things up. Here comes Sontiveros. Hesitated a little bit there. 14 seconds still on the shot clock of the Beerman. Arwin Santos finds a way. At the end of that timeout, Coach Shotam Kinsen went over to Arwin Santos and gave him a sign to go for the basket. That's because Tony Washam has two personal fouls and Arwin Santos, one of those guys that can actually create baskets for himself. Aliado. That's the sixth point of the ball game. Kabagno. And Kabagno holding on to that left shin. Hard to say just how badly he fell on that. Now let's take a look at what happened here. Now he had a lot of space to take this shot. Well, he apparently popped back up after that <laughs> anyway. So. Quick recovery. <laughs> but nonetheless, it is three free throws here for the uh, for Alex Kobagnot. And by the way, the 2010 FIBA World Championship. Will be taking place from August 29 until September 13, featuring basketball giants such as France, Spain, Germany, and Argentina, and that will be exclusively on Solar TV and BTV. You can also witness Team USA pick up where they left off with the USA Basketball World Tour. That happens on July 25, 11 a.m. on BTV, and July 26 at 9 a.m. here on Solar TV. Fresh legs and faces now on the floor. Rafi Rivas. Increasing the ceiling here for the BMEG Derby Ace Llamados. But we see Jonas Villanueva also checking in. Less than two minutes to go now in the first quarter. Still an eight-point ball game in favor of the beer men. James Yap. James Yap quickly realizing that uh, Don Don Ontiveros is already going to the bench. Of course, Villanueva much shorter then uh, Don Don and he can shoot over him. And lock and load for three, courtesy of Arwin Santos. Santos coming off a 15 point performance in game number one, that's his fifth. But sometimes players just need that confidence coming from their bench. Like we said, Coach Sean Takinsen gave him the go signal and right now he's really attacking. And James Yap is actually still on the other side of the court and he was really begging for the three. Here's the recipient. It's one against two. Saves it for Washam. Washam from the outside. Yeah, that's a four shot. That's a two on four situation. And San Miguel just grabbing a hold of this quarter right now. Already a, a big 11 point lead. A quarter in which they're about to touch 30 on the board. Kabak not for three. And Freeman. And he's really banging down there against Rafi Rivas. Rivas couldn't get him a spot. And looks like he's got some choice words for the BMAC Derby's bench. 
Well, you know, if, 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 we, if we see this from the pick and roll at the top, this was getting, there was a lot of banging very early in this set. From the pick and roll at the top, you can see it right here. Rafi Rivas and Gabe Freeman already fooling around there, getting a lot of uh, bumping a, a little bit more than usual. And then, even when they were trying to get that basket on, Rafi Rivas gives up the hard foul. And the referee's uh, going to take a look at that again. Of course, signal was a, an intentional, or rather a flagrant foul. But Gabe Freeman all fired up after this foul. And he had some choice words to say to the B-Mac Derby Ace bench. I think he preached a little bit. You know, if, if you capsulize that play and leave it only at the end of the play, it probably wouldn't be a flagrant foul. Sure. But if you take it into context from the start, that's probably why it, the, the referees are taking a look at it as a flagrant foul. I know what you're saying. And uh, the officials, looks like they have now... What's this? I think uh, Tonaliade just got his towel back. But uh, looks like our officials have uh, finally made a decision here. And I can expect now more than a couple of uh, white shirts who want to get a crack at Kate Freeman on the next opportunity. But, but these are the games that the Llamados actually like. They want the games to be emotional You're because right. they have a lot of players that play well when there's a lot of emotion on the line. So, a couple of warnings slapped out. And Rafi Rivas. Now, Rivas and, uh, Rivas and Freeman are okay. I don't know if the same can be said about Freeman and the rest <laughs> of the Bimek Derby <laughs> Yamados. <laughs> you can clearly see it from here. All eyes on the Bimek Derby Ace bench are on one San Miguel Beer player. <laughs> and you, know, you know what would be interesting is if actually, yung pumalit kay... Rafi Rivas, because Rafi Rivas has set three minutes. Ang pumalit sa kanya, si Don Aliado. <laughs> but looks like it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be Meyerhofer. Rico. Oh, and uh, Gabe Freeman missing that first free throw. And the other thing that comes into play, if it becomes an emotional game, are the fans You're of right. Dal Yamados. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I have to say, one of the teams that really carries a lot of fans, itong uh, Yamados ito. Split charities for Gabe Freeman, and it will be San Miguel Beer possession as Joseph Yo now checks into the ball game. 42 seconds remaining in the first. Yo out to Villanueva. Siegel with nowhere to go. In comes Yo. About a three second differential between game clock and shot clock. B Mac Derby ace. Washam has not been able to get a good look from the inside, but James Yap finally gets free, gets the back of the rim. Meyerhofer with an offensive rebound down to the final six seconds of the first quarter. James Yap, another attempt. Still can't can it. And at the end of the first, the San Miguel Beerman are off to a good start playing their game and imposing their will on the BMAC Derby East Demados. Ahead by 12. We'll be right back. Jay Wash, yeah, he's very big. Uh, he was big tonight for us. He was passing the ball well. Uh, Defensively, he was playing good defense. Well, that's that's a big part of us. I mean, a malaking factor why we had you know success tonight was because of how Jay Wash played. 
Head coach Shot Duncan said of the San Miguel Beerman giving credit where credit is due. Jay Washington was the best player of game number one where he scored 28 points and single-handedly outscored the entire BMEC Derby's Yamada squad in the third quarter. 